Are you looking for a simple and powerful to-do list or task apps to help you get things done? You may want to try Microsoft To-Do. It is the perfect apps to help busy people like you and your teams. Let me show you how I use Microsoft To-Do to help me get things done. Okay, right now you are in my Microsoft To-Do. Now this is a browser version and it is free of charge. All you need just go to office.com and create a free account. And then you can use this Microsoft To Do. By the way, it is best to use the Microsoft To Do apps. So go to your app store and download it. For this video purpose, I'll demo in my desktop so that it's easy for you to see. All right. Now, right now, this is in my so called Microsoft To Do. So once you have an account, just go to your office.com, right? This is the my office.com. And then you select Outlook. So go to the Outlook. And then if you go in, you can see there's a tick here. This is from Microsoft to do. Now, if you just use the apps, just click and go into the apps itself. So right now you're in my Microsoft to do. And you can see that here I have multiple lists. So let me show you how I do it. You see, all the tasks that I'm going to do like today, I'll put in here, the now lists, right? Now, when you're downloading this as a new user, your list is all empty right over here. So all you need is just click here and create your own new list. Click the plus sign and create your own new list, okay? So now I created, for me, this is how I use it, right? I create a now list and I have my week list and I have my month list. Now, here there are some other later, I'll explain what is that, right? So the things that I'm going to do today, right? Like right now, then I'll put in here. These are all the tasks that I'm going to do like right now, today, okay? Those that I plan to do in a week, it will be in this week list. And then those in the month, it will be here in this month list, okay? Month means a this month, right? Week means this week and now means today, right? So these are the three lists so that I don't have a lot of things or a long list of items that I want to do and it sometimes confuse me, right? I just want to make it like simple. The beauty about this Outlook is it has this so-called my day. This is something that I love to use. So all the things I know that I'm going to do will go into this now, right? Now you can see here is now 3D means that I put in three days of work in here. Those that I miss out, right, or did not complete yesterday, okay, today plus tomorrow, right? For me, that I just want to look at these three days task in this particular list, or you can call it a folder if you want, right? Every morning, what I need to do is that I just go into my day, and then you can see there's a suggestion, right? Suggestion that comes out all over here, and I can click the plus signs if I want to do all these tasks, right? So I plan to maybe like three tasks in a day, then I can click here, one, two, and three. Three, right? Something like this. So, so once it's scheduled into my day, that is something that I focus to complete it, right? Once I complete it, you have more time, then I can go to my suggestion list, right? And schedule some more into my day. So it helps me to focus. I don't get the stress that I see a whole long list then, I may procrastinate, you see? So for me, I love this and I only see like maybe three to five lists in my, my day so-called section. All these tasks, okay, are based on my goals, right? So I do set like OKR, GRA and all these things. Now, if you want to learn more about this planning system to help you get things done or achieving your goals. We call it the game on process. So it's like playing a game. So how do you develop from your goals using OKR and convert them into GIA and to daily tasks that you can take actions every day, then it is easy for you to achieve your goal. Now, if you're interested to learn more about this game on process, just leave a comment and I'll do more video about that. So go download Microsoft To Do right now in your phone or on your desktops. 
for me, I prefer to use it on my phone because the apps is actually optimized for mobile so that you can see what are the tasks that you're going to do easily on your phone. In my future video, I will share with you how to automate some of the things using Microsoft products like Microsoft Office, how to integrate your Microsoft Teams planner together with Microsoft To Do. And if you want to learn more on tips and tricks to increase your work productivity, to get things done and achieving your goal, make sure to follow us and watch my next video for more tips.